this is it. We have a classic 1987 Jaguar. Beautiful condition. You will love it. You're a true car salesman. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my Jaguar. I really love the cool looks and the way it rides, but uh, I don't need a car anymore, so I want to get rid of it. I have to get at least $5,000. That would be the minimum I want to sell it for. I got it about 20 years ago. Right now, it has 113,000 miles. Is there any major mechanical issues with it? No. I always took good care of it, so it was never a problem. Well, it's a beautiful car, except I've heard stories about them. High cost of repairs, et cetera, et cetera. They do have the world's coolest toad ornament, though. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Jaguar has changed hands so many times over the past 20 some years. I know Ford's owned them. Now, some Indian company, Tata Motors, owns them. This was made before all that happened. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Jaguar started off making sidecars for motorcycles in the 1920s. Now they make some of the best luxury cars in the world. From the elegant lines to the real wood dash, Jaguars are cool. Uh, you mind if I take a look around it and uh, please check do. it out? You got a little bit of rot going on right here. You're getting picky on me now. What in the world did you run into? That's a really weird dent in the door. Uh, probably my wife. Yeah, we'll blame it on the wife. <laughs> <laughs> the interior is incredible. It doesn't even look like anyone ever sat in the back seat. From time to time, you hear about how complicated Jaguars can be. But this car is solid. The body only has minor problems, and the engine runs. If I can get it for a decent price, it's definitely worth picking up. So how much do you want for it? Well, 5,000. Absolutely clean, these things go for five grand. It's gonna cost me over a thousand bucks to get everything straightened out on it. I'm thinking more like 2,200. Uh, how about three? I'll give you 2,500, it's the most I can go. It's just, you know it's the wrong color, Rick. I'm not gonna paint it black. For some reason, all he likes is black cars. But there's a few things I got to get done to it, and I think 2,500 is more than a fair offer on it. This is not a good time to be selling luxury cars. If I tried to flip this car right now, I'd get 3,500 bucks tops. But I have an idea how I can turn a much bigger profit. You got to play big to win big. I really love this car. I hate to get rid of it, but uh... all right. Okay, 2,500. I'll take it. Okay, thank, thank you, you much, very sir. Much. Oh, let's go inside. We'll go do some paperwork. I settled for 2500 It was a little painful, but after all these years, now I don't need it anymore. And that's why I took it. Hey, Danny. Hey, gentlemen, hey. what's up? What's going on, Count? Well, this is it. The 87 Jag. Nice. I'm Danny Coker, own Count's Customs right here in Las Vegas. We build wicked choppers and unbelievable hot rods. Well, I like the 87 Jags because it's the last year of that nice, rounded XJ6 body style. It's going to be a lot of fun to do this car. Oh, OK. A little bit of rust in the back. The door right. screwed up. Hey, Count, how about painting this thing black for us? <laughs> Changing from white to black, we got to take the whole car apart, get in all of the door jams. Last thing you want to do is see a car that's black, and then you open it up, and the doors, you can tell that it used to be white. So to do it properly, take it apart, shoot the whole thing, and then put it back together. It can no, be no, done. No, no, no. Why not? Because we're not taking the whole car apart. We have to make money on it. I'm not. You're not keeping it. Why? Every time I buy a cool car, the old man tries to keep it for himself. It makes actually selling these cars pretty damn hard. <laughs> it really looks in nice shape, man. Uh, how, how does it drive? Uh, that's the thing. It's running a little rough. Well, before we dive into it, let me fire it up. Is that cool? I want to just hear how it runs. Yeah, go ahead. This is really nice in here. It doesn't sound all that good. I don't know. Well, it's not knocking. Right, that's true. It's not knocking. I tell you, the good thing is she's beautiful, but mechanical, we got to figure this out. The outside's in wonderful condition. The inside is cherry, so hopefully it's just a matter of tuning it up and proper fuel and things like that. I'm hoping. So uh, what'd you guys pay for it? 2500 I think you did good. The body's really nice. The interior's gorgeous. As long as we get this motor running right, I think you did good. That's the only big question. All right, well. We'll get it straightened out, I hope. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. It's Give me a, a call. pleasure, man. I brought this car to Danny because he knows how to maximize my profit, and that is not easy with an 87 Jag. But if the engine turns out to be a simple fix, I think he can do it. I just can't wait to see what he comes up with. Hey, Danny.
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I pulled the car out, I was a little bit nervous. I kind of went on a limb and gave it this crazy jag pattern. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm doing good great, man. Good to see you, man. Good to <laughs> hey, see you Danny. this morning. How are you, brother? I'm good. All right, all right. All right. So what all did you do to it? Well, we stuck with that same base coat on it. We fixed the, the, the rust issues that were really minor, fixed the dent on the other side. But I wanted to make it stand out from the crowd, easier to sell. So uh, we went ahead and added the Jaguar pattern to the pinstripe body line. And the same thing on the hood. The hood's got a great body line down the center where it just kind of starts smaller and widens out. So it really makes it stand out It's bad. And then we put uh, some 18-inch you know, chrome wheels and tires on it, give it more of a lower, wider, cool stance. I think the outside came out gorgeous. So when we brought it in, it wasn't exactly running right. What was the deal with the motor? Well, you know, it's a little nerve-wracking when it's a motor issue, because it could be anything. These cars were computer controlled, and all the terminals were not making good connections on the computer. So we had to clean all that up, gave it a full tune-up. The car's as happy as can be. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You scored. These guys, man, they get lucky sometimes, and they scored a really good car. It was minor, minor stuff under the hood, and after that, car runs like a watch. All right, engine work, paint, wheels. How much over budget do we go, man? We didn't want to put a lot of money into this because there's just not a lot of profit in an 87 Jag. But a few small touches can go a long way. For the whole process of, of turning around without putting too much money into it, we didn't change the color on the car, so we didn't have to take it apart. We went for that whole Jaguar graphics on it. That was really cost effective. The problems under the hood were not big issues. So I tell you what, we did this whole package for like 3,500 bucks. That's a good deal. Sweet. Sweet. I'm glad you're Sweet. happy. I'll be able to make some money off this Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. It's definitely I an $8,000 or $9,000 car. This car is awesome. It will appeal to somebody who's willing to spend that little bit of extra money so they can stand out in a crowd, which means more profit for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll just sell quick. This is oh, always a quick sell. Absolutely. This car is so Vegas. Sweet. You got the keys? Uh, They're in it. All right. Cool. Enjoy, brother. Thanks. <laughs> Get out of the way, Rick. I'm going to drive the damn car home. See you later, Rick. <laughs> Dad, let me, let me, let, just let me take the car, all right? All right. You're old, Dad. Isn't there a law you can't drive a car anymore? Really? Don't be so hard on your dad, man. Yeah, whatever. He deserves every bit of it. Give me my hat. See you guys. So how do you put up with him? Oh, he's a couple times, but I'm used to him. <laughs>